In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the IDX broker short codes that are built into Equity 1.5 and above. Using these short codes allows you to easily add IDX broker content to pages, posts, and widgets. To activate it, you must have your Equity API activated and your IDX broker API activated on your site. So let's go to the dashboard of our site. We already have that activated on our site, both the Equity API and the IDX Broker API. And we're going to start with a widget. Let's go to Appearance Widgets. And we're going to grab a text widget and put it in our default sidebar. put it at the bottom. And we're going to start with the simple one of a lead login. Now the advantage of using the short code over using the, uh, the uh, Equity IDX lead login is you can include this short code into a text widget that you've got other content in. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's your uh, about widget, you know, about your agent here. We can include it there instead at the very bottom. So it can all, all be in one widget. But for this uh, video, we're just going to put it in a plain text widget. And we're going to save it. Now let's go to the front of our site. And let's go to a page that uses that sidebar here. And there you see we've got the lead login now added to that sidebar just by using that short code. Okay, let's go back to that same text widget. And we're going to change this to the short code of lead sign up. But we want to add the parameter to ask for their phone number. So we're going to go to Let's start from scratch. Bracket. Lead. Sign up. And we're going to have the parameter phone equals. Okay. Now you have a choice. Uh, it's Boolean. You have a choice of zero for false or one for true. We want to make this true. So we're going to use one. Closing bracket. Now let's save it. And let's go back to the front of our site and reload this page now with the sign up. There we go. See, we've got the sign up and now it has the phone field because we set phone equals to one for true. Okay, now let's do one of the other ones. Let's do the property carousel. Let's just put it in with the default parameters here and save that. And let's go back to our blog and reload that. And see there's our carousel using the default values. <clears throat> now we can add some of these additional parameters. Um, display, let's set display to just one so it just shows one at a time. So let's go to property carousel, display equals one, Oops. helps if I spell it right, and save that. Now let's go back to the front, and there we go. See, we've got the property carousel, and it's just showing one at a time now. So you've got uh, all these parameters you can use for your property carousel, and the property showcase is the same way. Um, <clears throat> now you can put these short codes in widgets, but you can also put them into posts and pages. So let me go ahead and close this. I'm going to drag it back off, and we're going to go to a post. I'm 
going to go to one of my posts here. Click edit because we're going to add this to the bottom. Now if you're going to use these short codes, we recommend that you install and activate the Shortcake Shortcode UI plugin. I'm going to go to the install plugins and you'll see in a minute why this is so beneficial. We have this support built into these short codes. It's called Shortcake Shortcode UI plugin. If you don't already have it installed, you should install it because it makes it much easier to add these short codes with the different parameters. So we've got that installed and activated. I'm going to go to post, all post again. I'm going to edit that post. And we're going to add a showcase to this. Let's go down to the bottom. Now instead of manually adding that short code, by having that shortcake plugin installed, we can just click on add media click on insert post element and you'll see all these IDX broker short codes are there the city links lead login lead sign up property carousel property showcase so we're going to put in a showcase so let me click that and you'll see now these are all the different parameters you know before in the widget we had to manually enter these uh, now we can select these options here with these easy to use uh, drop downs or radio buttons so our maximum number of listings we want it to be eight we want to use rows we want four per row we want it to go let's change this from low to high instead of high to low we want to show the image we want to show featured or you can use a saved link if you've got a saved link you want to use it you just put in the save link ID. Um, now the save link ID, if you've saved a link uh, and you need to find what the ID number is, you just go back into your middleware to your save link and click the edit button and in the browser uh, it will show you the link ID. So you grab that link ID. For this video I'm just going to select featured. Click insert element and you'll see now you can actually see them in the visual editor. This is what it's going to look like. If you want to see what that short code looks like that it put in, click on text and let's scroll down and you'll see there's all our parameters. There's the property showcase, maximum number eight, use rows, set to true, which is number one how many per row, we want four, we want it from low to high, we want it to show the image, and we want to show the featured images. So let's go ahead, we're going to update this post now. And let's view it. And you see now we've got our IDX Broker property showcased right here in our blog post. And it's got our featured listings. Now suppose we're doing a community page and we want to put the IDX, IDX Broker city links. We just do the same thing. I'm going to clear this out. Again, I'm going, because I've got that shortcake plugin installed, I'm going to go to Add Media, Insert Post Element, I'm going to put in city links. I want to use the default combined active MLS, but if you have a, a custom city list, you can put in uh, put in that your MLS ID number. I want to use columns, and I want four columns for these city links. And see, there's our short code in text mode. Now if I go over to visual, I can see what it's going to look like. And see there's my city list there now in my post. Now these city lists can be quite long for some MLSs, so you may want to use a custom city list if you're going to be inserting them into a page or post. 
but this is what it will look like so let's go ahead we're going to update this post and let's refresh this page and you'll see now we've got these city links here like I said you can use it on a uh, post pages uh, even the WP listings post type so you can add this information just using the short codes and with the short cake UI it makes it really simple to add the different parameters so let's go back through these short codes now we've got a lead login short code it adds that simple lead login field the lead sign up where they can sign up uh, and it has a parameter for whether you want to include the phone number field the property carousel with the different parameters of whether you want to use you know featured or save links property showcase you can set how many listings you want to show whether you want to use rows how many per row whether you want to show it high to low or low to high and the city links so again for equity 1.5 and above uh, install that short cake short code UI plugin and you can easily add these short codes to any of the content on your WordPress site just using those short codes